Hey folks, JD here, and look, the package has finally arrived. So, just to recap everybody, as you would remember, my uh, motor, the motor mount that holds the mount onto the motor, onto the body of the quadcopter, got absolutely mangled when I decided to crash my racing quad uh, as I was flying her. So, unfortunately, as it's carbon fibre, it just shattered. So this is what it's meant to look like. And obviously, unfortunately, now I have a motor which is dangling about the place and no good to anyone. So I sent off to a little company in the States called Copter Lab, uh, where they had these for sale, as literally everywhere else I tried said, no, the copter's too old, we don't stock anything, blah, 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 blah. But as the copter is quite old, it does mean parts are quite hard to get hold of, but that's not good enough for me. So I got in touch with this company that said, yeah, well, that's fine, we'll, we can sort you out. And they did. But that was after I had a little email off them that said, oh, unfortunately, John, um, these parts aren't for sale anymore as they are totally discontinued. I tell you what, how about if we 3D print you some parts? I said, hell yes. And that's exactly what they did. Look at this. Almost 100% perfect. Now, it's a little bit thicker. The plastic is really, really rigid. And I'm really excited for fitting this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this. Obviously, they've given me a couple of packs here with a couple of spares. Thank you, Copter Lab. I 100% recommend you. These came through. Your, co your communication was excellent. These came through without any hassle. They all came in, came in the pack, as well as you even gave me one extra pack. So thank you ever so much, Copter Lab. I really appreciate it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair this bad boy. Now... What the idea is, is that I've got a little mount here, which I'm going to attach this particular mount to. And then once this mount is attached, I can then attach the motor to the mount a little bit like this. And then what I'm going to do, because if I just have this, the weight, even though it's not much, it's going to put the quadcopter, it's going to put the tilt rotor off kilter. So what I'm going to do is then replace all these other carbon fiber mountings with these particular plastic parts as well because I don't just want to have one on here and have the copter and me know the copter is going to be off kilter because I, I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little, little oh Allen key, yes that's right. And then we're going to attach this. Now I'm hoping this is the right Allen key that I've got. Yes it is. So hopefully now I should, and I'm sorry about the hands as well folks, I am setting up a new table um, which is going to be a lot better than this one so what I'm going to do first of all is just put the screw in here ever so slightly and just that will enable me then to just tap a little thread inside this this house in here and hopefully I'll have enough of a thread coming through the other end there we go that will hold on oh that's perfect that's really nice look at that beautiful okay so it's a little bit thicker so I may I'm going to test it with these particular screws and I should be all good to go if they're not good enough then I may have to get longer screws now this bit is going to be a little bit tedious as I tap the rest of these so what I'm going to do I'm going to save you the boredom and I'm going to speed this up a little bit Okay, so with that done, all I've done here is I've just attached these four screws here and just tapped them through to the end just to ensure they can all go through. There's a little bit of plastic that's come off as you'd expect from the inside, so I've just got rid of that as well, just to ensure that we have a nice clean fit. So then, it should just be a case of feeling around until this goes in. <laughs> Okay, so there we have it. That is three out of the four screws on. And they're on really quite well actually, and they're holding really quite nicely. So all in all, so far these screws fit perfectly, the holes match up exactly. Let me zoom this in a little bit. So yeah, these screws here fit in perfectly. The holes match up without any issues at all. That looks, look at that, really good. Now it's a lot thicker than the original, about double the size, but that's fine. Something nice and steady, sturdy to hold on to these, hold on to these, uh, these motors. That's exactly what you want. That's brilliant. 
Okay, so on with the next part now. Next part now is to attach these attach these motors. So obviously you can see I've got one screw here which le is left to go on. But I, at this stage I want the motor to be on and hooked in so I can get a nice little so I can get a nice measurement from here to ensure that the, the propeller under here is going to pass the body of the quadcopter and it's not going to hit anything. So otherwise, because when I put this last screw in, it's going to clamp down and tighten onto this onto this particular pole here. So what I need to do is just put this on, get two out of the four screws for the motors in, and at least that way then I can see exactly which way, how everything's going to go together. Okay, so that is one side of the motor on. I'm just going to turn it around slightly and just ensure that I can see exactly where this next hole is going to be. So I can line everything up. Nope, that's a little bit too short, so I need to unscrew that slightly. There we go, that's better. Line up these holes and then screw this next bit in. Now I'm not going to do them up totally tight at this stage, just thumb tight. Just enough so you can get some sort of an idea of how everything goes together. Okay, so it's at this stage now. Let me just zoom back out a little bit. So it's at this stage now that I'm going to line up all these motors. So what I want to do is one of the... Just turn the motor around. I just want to see... Because this should be flush. The plastic should the plastic of this arm here should be flush with this arm here. So what that would mean then is when this is flush with this particular propeller arm here, then I know the motor is a hundred percent straight. So what I'm going to do then is very gently, well, just making sure that this is still flush. What I'm going to do is put my fingers in here like a little vice. So this finger here can feel this carbon fibre rod from the other end. So I'm just going to make, make, keep on maintaining, keep on holding on to that. At least that way then I know that, yep, I'm flush. So I've tightened up the one, I'm going to tighten up the other. Right, now how does that look? That looks... All you want to do is check that the two back ones line up because these two have to be a hundred percent straight so just a little bit there we go so now those two line up and those two line up properly like that so you can really see the thickness there and then once those two motors are lined up which they are then I'm just gonna go in for the kill excuse the hands again folks and I'm just gonna tighten up the other screw totally tight and check these other screws as well and ensure these are all done up as they're meant to be there we go so now one last test obviously I've still got to put in two screws into this into this motor housing here into this motor motor mount and just make sure that's all fine but that looks good I'm gonna put in the vice after and just ensure that it is 100% straight, but just with my eyes for the second, it looks good. So now, so I'm going to take out another one of these screws from this motor housing, from this motor mount here, because I think the measurements are out by a couple of mil. Now the two line up directly, diagonally from each other. But these two here are slightly out. Let me see if I can show you in a bit more detail. Can you see that there? So you've got this one here and this one here exactly perfect. But these two here are ever so slightly out. I mean, and it is ever so slightly. I think I will be able to do it. Okay, so how do we look? How are we looking? So as far as fitting the mount, so we've got the original mount here, and we've got the newly manufactured 3D printed mount here. That looks really quite nice. Obviously, as I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all the other, the other three with this particular mount as well, just to ensure it's nice and stable. But this is what we've got. So, if I can just bring this down a little bit, 
zoom them in and show you exactly what we've got. So, from a clearance perspective, when this particular motor is spinning, this is what we've got. We've got a couple of mil there, and when I go back to the original motor mount, this is what we've got. You had a couple of mil of clearance there as well. So that looks pretty, look at that. That's pretty spot on. I think a little bit of rebalancing is needed, but I think that is pretty damn spot on. So, looking at this new motor mount as well, I'm really quite happy with that. Look at that. The craftsmanship is excellent. I mean, 3D printing, that's a way to go, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. So I've got a lot more work that needs to be done with this particular quadcopter, uh, tilt rotor, rather. Um, what I need to do, as you can see from the, the particular crash that I had, these propellers need to be replaced. So I've got to find where I've put all the spare propellers for this particular quad uh, tilt rotor, and then replace all four. So, this is what it looks like. I'm really quite liking that. This is brilliant. My quad lives again. Excellent. Well, there we are, folks. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic, as always. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.